everyone. Welcome to the Electronic Playground uh, Experiment Number 4 Parallel Pipes. Now, if you've been watching the other videos in this series, uh, you will see, you, you would have heard their constant uh, comparison between uh, water moving through f pipes not being that different from how electricity moves through wires. So, I've already gotten the thing set up. And I'll tell you, uh, this one was a little different. We did something a little different that we haven't done in the last three experiments. But I'll tell you how the wires are connected. We have to connect 27 to 56. And here's when, when we're doing something a little different. We connect 55, we take one wire and we connect 55 to 52. And then we take another wire and we connect 52 to 43 over here. And then we're going to do, take another two wires, and the first one we're going to connect uh, 51 to uh, 42 over here. And then we're going to take another wire and connect 42 to number 3 up there. And then lastly, we're going to connect 4 to 26. So that's how it's t uh, um, set up. Okay, so you've got uh, two wires that are running uh, parallel and that they're connected between the same point in the circuit. This is the 100K uh, resistor and the 3.3K resistor are running parallel. So now we're going to see how bright the uh, light bulb's going to be. Okay, so I'm about to flip on the switch, and let's see how bright, and there's the light bulb, if you can see it right there. I'll turn it off so you can see the comparison. And it's quite bright. Uh, when pipes are parallel, most of the, um, the electricity is going through the uh, wire that has the least resistance. In this case, most of it is going through the 3.3 uh, resistor. The more uh, resistors there are in parallel, the lower the total resistance is, and the more current will flow. Now, they want us to uh, disconnect the wires from the 100K resistor and connect them to the 10K. Okay, hopefully I have done this right. This is a little complicated now we have these two wires uh, to think about. But what I did to switch them from 100K to the 10K, I took uh, 55 and connected it to 45 and then I still have the wire uh, well, okay, let's see, 55 to 45, and then I connected 45 to 43. And then I took uh, the one that went from 51 and disconnected it and connected it to 44, and that is still going to 42, and of course the 42 is still going to 3. Now, well, how will this affect the LED? Uh, providing I did it right anyway. So, do we think it's going to be less bright, more bright, about the same? Well, let's take a look. And it looks just about the same, which is cl they claim was the uh, result. Now, they do claim that there is a slight difference of uh, the the way it was connected before, it would have had the brightness of a single 3.2K resistor. And they claim now, the way since it's been connected to the 10K instead of the 100K, it should be only 2.K resistor brightness. But our eyes are not apparently that uh, sensitive to really notice the difference. Okay, now they want us to, the, us to disconnect it from the 10K 
and connect it to the 1K. So this is how this works. You'll, you will connect 55 to 41, and then you'll have another wire that connects 41 to 43. And then you're going to connect uh, the wire... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think... Yeah, okay. The wire... Okay, the wire that was connected... Um, and then the wire that had been connected to 44, we're going to have uh, 40 connected to 42. And then, of course, we have the, the, rec the other wire that's going from 42 to 3. That hasn't changed. Now, they claim that because we're using a 1K, uh, it's connected to the 1K resistance, the total resistance is only 770 uh, little Greek letter. So the LED should be much brighter. So let's see if that is the case. Okay, are we still going? Okay. Okay, so let's press the bridge. Is it brighter? You know, I really can't tell. They claim it should be brighter. Is that brighter or not? I can't remember. I'll have to tell you'll have to tell because I've kind of forgotten what it looks like. Now, of course, I guess I could have done it wrong, but I think that's how it should go. Because I, you still need this wire that goes to the switch, I would think. So, um, yeah. Because otherwise I don't think that anything could activate it. Now, we've connected it uh, a little differently now, because we're going to compare two LED bulbs. Now, in a lot of ways, it's connected uh, similar, So, but I'll read it off to you. We're connecting 27 to 56. That hasn't changed. 55 to 52. And then you're going to take another wa wire, and you're going to connect 52 to 43. And then we're connecting 51 to 1 up LED up there. We're connecting uh, 42 to 3, and we're connecting 2 to 4. Uh, that's one wire, and then you're taking another wire and you're connecting 4 to 26. Okay, so now the way it is set up, there should be we we compare the two LED lights when we press the switch. So see, let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, uh, I don't know how apparent it is. This one is very bright. It did come on, and this one is bright. Uh, let me see if you can see. The, I don't know if you can see the difference. Can you see the difference? Yeah, it's very vague, but yeah, that one on the left is very dim. The one on the right is very bright. So, now let's repeat the other experiments. And it's connected to the 100K resistor now. So let's see what happens when we connect it to the 10K resistor. Okay, to show you what I've done, I've connected 55 to 45, and then we have a 40, another wire from 45 to 43, and then the, the uh, one that was from uh, 51 is now connected to 44. So let's see what difference that makes. Okay, now I'm going to press the thing, the switch, and as you can see, the one on the left is a little brighter now, and the one on the right is pretty much just as bright. Now we're going to connect it to the 1K. Okay, so this is how it's connected to. Uh, now 55 to 41, and another wire from 41 to 43. And then we have another wire... Uh, 40 to uh, 1 and 40 to 3. Okay, so for the last experiment with this new uh, connection, what do you think is going to happen? And now they are both equally bright. Uh, can you see that? It seems in the thing that... Uh, 
They're both equally bright. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, uh, video and stay tuned for more experiments. I have to admit that some of this is getting a little, uh, a little confusing. I'm probably going to have to review it, but at least I'm able to do the experiments. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for more videos.